Good day, everybody, and uh, welcome. So today I want to present you, instead of yesterday where I talked about real applications, a little bit more deep dive into what is 5G from a technical perspective and what are the benefits. So the ones who attended my presentation yesterday, there will be some small overlaps, hopefully not too boring for you, but then I will go deeper and deeper into 5G. And the benefits for the industry by using 5G technologies. And when we're talking about industrial use cases, we're mostly talking about mobile private networks. Networks that can be run by a company or a public sector by its own, without any interaction of, for example, mobile network operators. Because a mobile private network is a standalone, isolated network for which the Bundesnetzagentur in Germany or in France or in UK, they have provided an own frequency spectrum that can be used exclusively by an industry or a public sector on its own premises. In Germany, it's 100 megahertz from 3.7 to 3.8 gigahertz, which can be used exclusively as on the privately used manner on your own premises. Why should you do so? Why should you implement your own private network? Because there are a lot of benefits um, towards cable infrastructure or Wi-Fi infrastructure um, if you talk about mobile use cases. Whenever you talk about mobile use cases, uh, you, where you do need to require high bandwidth and low latency communication, you need to talk about 5G. As said, 5G runs on a public frequency spectrum. So there are no interferences with other frequencies or other providers because you apply for a frequency spectrum which can be run exclusively by you on your own premises. Instead of, for example, Wi-Fi use cases where you have public frequencies which can be disturbed by any application running on the same frequency spectrum. So 5G, private versus public frequency spectrums, that is one of the big benefits of 5G. Seamless handover whenever you talk about mobile use cases, you have seamless handover between different antennas, so no signal loss, no packet loss when you move around. Those are one of the big benefits of a 5G network towards existing networks. And as said, you build and run your own network. You can provide coverage wherever you require it on your premises. You have everything under your control. It's your network, your antennas, your servers, your software. And being an isolated network, you have as much as security as possible. But what are the advantages of 5G? What is the promise of 5G? And seeing this and stating this, please be aware, that is what 5G promises in the next years. We have a lot of customers asking for one millisecond low latency communication and when it will be available. As of today, 5G is still in evolution of phase and heading towards those figures. 10 times higher bandwidth, ultra low latency communication below five milliseconds, hundreds of thousands devices on a small area. But the biggest benefits as of today are higher security standards. 5G is using TLS for security reasons as of today, so providing way more security when 4G networks. And you can run different logical networks by using network slicing. I will come to that later on. So, but please be aware, this is the aim of 5G in the next years, not of, as to, of today. But providing such interesting features, high bandwidth, low latency, makes 5G very interestingly for a different applications in different industries and different use cases. I do not want to read everything for you. It's 5G fulfills a lot of interesting use cases for all kinds of industries. And it can do so because 
it supports different areas of application in a 5G network. There are three major areas in 5G. The one is enhanced multimedia broadcast. That is what is supported in 5G as of today, meaning high bandwidth communication. Short-term available will be ultra-reliable low latency communication, meaning communication below 10 to 5 milliseconds. And in the next years, massive machine type communication means many devices on a small area with low power consumption. That is the evolution of 5G in different applications. And the interesting thing is that all these three modes can run as logical layers on the same hardware and software you have already implemented. So you do not need to bring out more antennas for a different use case. You can run all those modes by the network feature of network slicing in one network, and it has a separation of data. So there will be no mixture of data. The data in one slice will be separated from the data of another slice. Also a security feature. So you could run on the same network a multimedia broadcast as well as a ULLC low latency communication. I have some use cases for that later on. That is very interestingly. Same infrastructure, different use cases, different scenarios. And that's where I'm at now with the use cases. So having this great technology at hand, you can use it in different use cases. For example, in events. Events transmit audio and video signals as of today, mostly via fiber cable connections. That is very cost and time uh, consuming to bring out all the cables. It has failures because the cable can be broken. So the idea is, or the next step is, using 5G as real-time communication and multimedia communication for audio and video transmissions in events, festivals, whatsoever. A 5G network can be set up almost in one day, two days when it comes to bigger venues, and it can be shipped anywhere. So it's very easy to use, as you can see at our booth. Yeah? It's very easy to set up immediately a 5G network, and in Germany, the Bundes Netzagentur has also provided the availability of applying test uh, frequency licenses that will be valid for 30 days. We did the same here for Dresden. We asked for an, a test license. It took 24 hours, and we have the permission of the Bundes Netzagentur to use 5G frequencies here in Dresden and Hilton. So very easy, very short-term available. That makes it very interestingly for events. Drones. You can remote control drones via 5G using URLLC because you need to have low latency communication so that every remote control will immediately be um, done by the drone. And you can use 4K or 8K cameras uh, with the drone to do inspection, maintenance, whatever. So you can have as well three, two different modes, the multimedia broadcast mode for 4K or 8K video transmission of the drone and URLLC to remote control such a drone and support you in maintenance tasks. Smart factory. When, when, when someone reads smart factory, everything is, everybody is thinking on robots. Yes. Connecting a robot to a 5G network is possible as well. For example, if you have moving robots, yes, you need a mobile communication or you have, for example, uh, automated guided vehicles that will move around. Yes, these are as well 5G use cases. But the most interesting part for industry customers is, where is my asset? And with 5G, you have the availability of providing location services in a 5G network with the availability of release 16 to locate things below one meter and with release 17 later on below 10 centimeters. 
without the use of any third-party hardware or software. You can locate a 5G device below one meter or later on below 10 centimeters. But that is not required as of today. Most customers say, I do simply want to use, to want to know where is my forklifter. Not exactly, because I will see the forklifter when I'm 10 meters away from it. I just need to know where may it be. May it be in the left corner of my, of my, of my premise or in the right corner or whatsoever. So location information based on a, on a network without the use of third-party hardware and software is a very interesting uh, topic for industries. And last but not least, augmented reality. You can provide a lot of information into an augmented reality glass to support, for example, field force technicians. Whenever an expert is required, but you do not have an expert at hand, you can use a standard technician, provide him with an augmented reality glass, and help him and teach him and train him to do the work an expert would typically do to repair or maintain whatever needs to be repaired and maintained. And as well, this is a mobility use case because the person will move around. These are some use cases that 5G brings a lot of benefits towards the industry and to support them in creating their idea and vision of digitization. And I hope I brought some ideas to you. I see some people thinking. If you do have questions, please feel free to visit us on our booth, and we will hopefully answer all your questions. And as, far as, and as now, I would like to say thank you for joining this presentation, and I'm open to questions. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. I can only underline that. Are there any questions from the audience? Yes, there is one. Please wait for the microphone. Mm -hmm. It's coming. <clears throat> Bernd Thais from Connect Magazine. Mm -hmm. You talked about the advantages of running your own network, your own 5G network, but beneath the advantages you have also one drawback. You are responsible for your network. So yeah. I know operators need a lot of people to run their networks. How many people do you <laughs> need to run uh, your own private network? It, it depends on the size. But the benefit of what we provide is an open RAN-based solution. So our solution is based on standard software and standard hardware components, like Dale or HP servers, to name some, <laughs> and not to forget anyone else. And our, we are running on Linux, Kubernetes, so virtualization solutions. So we aim to provide as much as standardized hardware and software components to our customers so that an IT department can easily integrate it. We, we state ourselves as an IT solution provider, and we want to provide IT solutions for IT people. And that makes it easier to integrate such a network and to run and maintain such a network because you can integrate it in your IT systems, processes, tools, etc. So. Typically, the maintenance of such a system, whether on you run it 5 by 8 or 24 by 7, depends between 1, 2, 4, 5 people, depending on the availability and is it 24 by 7 or 5 by 8. Can you also engage somebody to run it remotely for you? Yes, of course. You can have a VPN connection to the system and to do it completely remotely, yes. Okay, thank you. So as you mentioned, open run um, and standardized hardware, if you're looking a little into the future, maybe um, at least workstation class systems in a um, business environment would deliver sufficient power to, to run that. Is that in direction the industry is going at, so that the, um, let's say, customization um, needs are still dec decreasing and... Um, yes in maybe five years, I will come to you and you'll 
give me a little box like that and the rest will be on my premises anyway? Is that yes, is, yeah? yes. This is exactly the way we are heading as mm -hmm. of today. What you can see at our booth is one server running all the software components required for a 5G mobile private network. What we also will provide in short term is having a cloud-based solution, so meaning mm -hmm. the software to, to manage and maintain such a 5G a mobile private network will be run in a cloud or in a private cloud environment, whatever is required, and we will only ship antennas to the customer, mm -hmm. which then will be connected via a secured VPN tunnel to the cloud component. Fascinating. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, and have a good day. Thanks.